Are you trying to make your headings and labels line up on your paper? I'll show you a trick. So first of all, we'll assume that you put in a tab key at the end of the colon, like I told you to. But you know what? You can't tell. So the first thing you really ought to do is learn how to work with the show hide key, which you did in your 153 class, but I bet you don't remember. Up on the home tab, over in the paragraph group, at the end of line one, there's a backwards P. That is the show hide key. When you click it, it turns it on. Don't croak. This doesn't show on the printer. It only shows on the screen. And what it shows is, if you have a tab key, it shows an arrow. But this one's so teeny weeny, you can't see it. That's OK. It shows an arrow. If you have an Enter key, it shows a backwards P. And there are several others. They have little dots where the space bars are. OK? So, Try to learn how to work with these on. You will help yourself immensely later when you are doing more advanced work. And the same kinds of concepts apply in programming classes, too. So you could apply that to other situations. Well, anyway, so you type name colon, and then you press the tab key, and it did this. And you did event. Yeah, that's good. And you did date. Let me go back and do date. And I left this because I'll teach you something. You can type. Oh, I have to shut off the bold. OK, set that's control B, right? September watch. You see how it started typing it for me? OK, and I'll press the tab key and then I'll press the space bar and it says, um, did you want me to write September 21st, 2022 for you? Press the enter key. So of course I'm going to. And the date's done. Now that's pretty easy. And then there is one tab key over to 60 minutes, but it went too far. OK, the reason why is that on the, if you don't have your ruler bar turned on, go up to View and Ruler. It's right here. Click it to turn it on. OK, the ruler bar by default, which means that's the way it is unless you change it, has tabs every half inch. So this is 0, this is 1. So this little mark is a half inch, and that we pressed one tab key, and that's where it went. But our word duration is too long for that half inch. So it went to the next default tab, which is at one inch. And that looks really crazy. The easy way to fix this is to set a tab. And I'm lazy. I don't want to do it four times. So I'm going to, so once I've done this, and I know it doesn't look right, I'll select the four lines. Or do you remember that you can go out in the left margin and click and drag downward, and it selects a line at a time? OK, well, anyway, so we did that. And now I'm going to go up to the ruler bar. And I'm going to take a eyeball stab. And I'll get my my if you get your the mouse pointer, the nose of the mouse up in the yellow in the white area too far, it won't work. So you kind of have to find it's like right down at the bottom. Now click and hold, left click and hold, and it's going to it will be a tab key when I let my thumb up. Well, well, finger, you're doing a mouse. I have a didn't get trapped. Never mind. Anyway, wherever, and you see the line, and it's going to line them all up for me at once. And you can find what looks good. And once you found the right place, you see, once you found the right place that you like, then you let your finger up off the mouse, and the tab key is there. Ta da! And it's up here on the ruler bar, it shows where it is. Let's see what happens if I press the Enter key now. If I press the Enter key now, that tab is still there in case I need it. Doesn't happen we need it for this assignment, but it's still there. Sometimes people will set a tab key before they start, so it appears on every line. That's just extra information. One more thing. When you want to type your heading in, depending on what you had done before, 
it might actually, if you look at the ruler bar, when you press tab, tab, tab to get over toward the middle, which you're not supposed to do, it may have moved the actual uh, indentation over so that you had an indented line, not a centered line, but an indented line, which means that if you pressed another Enter key on the next line, you'll be there. You won't be at the left margin. Okay. So what you really want to do is I'm going to, this, this has a first floor of the house, a second floor of the house, and a chimney. I'm going to go down to the first floor of the house. It says left indent in the tooltip. I'm going to click and drag that back to my left margin so I can start over. Oh no, not all the lines. No, 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 not all the lines. Here, come on, you behave. Okay, over to the left margin. And now then, I'm going to go back to the Home tab and click a centered line. And now my indentation is still at the left margin and my actual line is centered on the line. I can tell that it's centered. And if I change my margins later or whatever formatting I do later, it will always be in the center. So those are two tips to get you going. Have fun.